fantastic final part to the show. Uh, Circa Furlong is standing by. She's ready and waiting to perform in just a few minutes. But uh, first, we are hosting our very own six o'clock <laughs> show bake off here with Ashley Larkin. Oh. Hence the music. Yeah, we are going to we're going to kick off the baking season. Lovely autumnal cake, carrot cake. I love carrot cake. Mm. I've got a few staples. I'm, I, I like the simple baking more than the complicated baking. So I'm going to step you through this. Okay. This can be done as a cake. It can be done as a loaf tin, or it can be done as muffins. So you don't right. have to go extravagant. But the, the but you have. core <laughs> recipe is just lovely. Okay. And I've tried to really simplify it in terms of how you remember the ingredients. I remember my numbers, right? So basically there's 300 flour. Uh-huh, got it. 300 sugar. Easy. Yeah. 300 oil. 300 eggs, or three eggs. <laughs> 300, 300 eggs. eggs. Wow. Oh 300 my God. This cake might the, take a while. The chickens are screaming She could be here for a while, somewhere. everybody. She could be here for a while. Three <laughs> eggs. Our house is in overdrive. <sighs> okay. Gotcha, yeah. that's great. Okay, so it's, 300, it's easy 300. Yeah. And if you want to do 200, it's just 200 of everything, and two eggs. Um, Very so it works easy. And then three carrots. So I have my carrots grated. So that was the brown sugar, that was the baking powder, that was the self-raising flour. Three carrots grated. Lovely. In they go. Um, and then we're going to add in some spice. Now the spices is all spice and it is cinnamon. So you want about a teaspoon of cinnamon, about half a teaspoon of all spice. And it's already starting, like even the colours, they're autumnal, you know, really and those are. smells that you get mm -hmm. in the kitchen when this is baking is just gorgeous. I had two small children get out of bed last night to investigate, what's that smell? What's that oh, smell? Gosh, so that's how thing. good this is. It's really, really lovely. Salt brings out the flavour of the other ingredients. So a little bit of salt and bacon okay. is really important. And again, if you were going for smaller two, if you were doing the two, 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 as you say, like just obviously less of your all less spice. Of, yeah, yeah, exactly. Just kind of go. So cut it down to about three quarters of a teaspoon yeah, and a okay. little pinch of all spice. Okay. Okay. Yep. So here we have the eggs and what else is in there? Eggs, oil and vanilla. Lovely vanilla extract. That's all going in together. And you give it a whip around or a little mix around. You don't need a food processor. So I wanted to kind of have a cake oh, that you good, didn't, in case you didn't have enough. Yeah, a handheld blender. But you can just do it with a whisk, you can do it with a fork, you can do it with a spoon. Again, don't over mix your cake, okay? Yeah. Because the gluten in the flour toughens up. The oil allows your crumb to be really, really soft in your cake, which is lovely. Um, I should have used a bigger bowl for this. I, that's really. why I'm standing back, yeah. actually. I know, yeah. yeah. It's getting yeah, flashy, isn't it? And I need cake. a bigger bowl. Actually, this is 101 Bake Off yeah. stuff here, you know? Uh -huh. These are the mistakes. These are the mistakes. <laughs> Into that, we want orange. So we're going to put a little bit of orange zest as well. Microplane. One of the favourite gadgets in the kitchen. The zest is all the oil and all the flavour. So if you add the juice in here, you're going to mix with the kind of chemistry, the ingredients. So you want just the zest, just the flavour going mm. in, which is really, really nice. Scrape it all off. Pop that in. I'm going to take out my whisk. I'm actually going to use my spoon for a second. Tin-wise, you have a couple of options. You can go one big tin and cut your cake in half when it comes out, which I have done. Or you can go two smaller tins. Um, so I've got these two, like this. Or you can just go your one big what, tin. Are they eight inch? What are they? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And this is going to go in preheated oven, 180 degrees. If you do it in the two small ones, it'll be done in about 25 minutes. If you do it in the Great. big one, it's going to take 35 to 40 minutes. Okay. Every oven is different though. So the best way to check is get yourself a little wooden skewer, stick it in the inside of the cake, and if it comes out clean and dry, it's cooked. Like that's Gosh, what you need to know tip more from than my the, home economics the time. classes years and years ago. Yeah, old school. Yeah, but the, very that's old school. how you know. Lovely. Cake tin. I'm not lining it with parchment paper. Um, you should, or it works great because it's kind of like the insurance policy. It's the foolproof. But what works really, really well is oiling it. So a little pastry brush, a little bit of vegetable oil. Brush the whole thing with oil. Really, really, really well. Up along the sides as well. Do the whole lot and your cake right. should come out. What's lovely to do is even just a circle of parchment on the end. But sometimes the old parchment paper conversation puts people off baking a cake. It so does, I'm just, I want to yes, make it accessible. Yes, it does. It just, that's yeah. exactly it. And I always think with baking, you have to be so precise. But I feel totally. with this, it's not going to be a disaster if you're a little no. off with something. No, no. Very that's nice. It. Cake made. Well done. Built lovely. In the oven. That rises up to be this beautiful cake that we have here. Um, you pop it out of the tin. So again, for getting it out of the tin, this is really easy. So you've got the spring form one, so mm. it just pops out. Yeah. So if you are going all bake off for the next while, invest in one good little cake tin and you'll have it. We're going to cut that in half, which I have over here. But the icing, this is the exciting part. White chocolate and orange cream cheese. So cream cheese and carrot cake is classic combo stuff. Yeah. So in here I have butter. I have full fat cream cheese. I'm adding in melted white chocolate. I have the zest of an orange in there and I am putting in some orange bitters. So this is the stuff you put into cocktails. So orange blossom or orange bitters and it just adds that extra oomph of oranginess to it. Gorgeous. Ice and sugar goes in. 
Just, and just a little bit. Just a sprinkling no, of icing. No, 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 no. Just a tad. Just a tad. So, look, I mean, some people say, carrot cake, will that be one of my five a day? Definitely won't. No. The butter and the sugar will negate all yeah. of the that carrots. carrotness. Yeah. But they do add a little bit of sweetness, which is really nice. You just mix this up. Again, you can do that with your whisk if you want. Um, I like How to set it. sugar is that? Sorry, Ashley. So, depending on the size of your cake, it's either 350 for the smaller one or 500 grams for the bigger cake. Okay. Yeah. That all comes together really, really nicely. When that's done, you are going to put it into a piping bag. Martin. Voila. Oh, look at you. I what were you prepping at home? Bag. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the one I decorated earlier, right? We went all out. What really, mean, really you? lovely. I did that. <laughs> Sorry, well, you did. I, did I just that watched that. that really. I hate when she takes the credit <laughs> for my work. I want to show you these. These are pecans that I candied. Six tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of water in a frying pan. Allow that to form into like this brown caramel. Toss in your pecans and then blitz it up and you get this candied pecan crumb that mm. I put all around the end of it, which is oh, lovely. Fab. Really, really lovely. I split the cake in half. I've mm -hmm. piped the butter icing in already. Now, I'm not going to decorate this one like that one because Looks we like only a have a, a shorter amount of time. It does, doesn't it? Mm. So we're just going to go around the top. And like, this is the fun part. You don't have to go overboard with your icing. Um, and you can, you know, you can have fun with it. I have some dehydrated oranges that I'm going to pop on, and I have some beautiful edible flowers. Are and you I'll eating put... already? Because I'm just thinking these would be gorgeous. <laughs> I'm go, I'm freestyling on you now, Ashley. <laughs> but like, they'd right. be lovely to decorate as well. I know you've gone all out with like your golden oh, balls. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. these would be beautiful. They're absolutely delicious. Yeah, they're really, they're, they're a really left lovely. Now. They're gorgeous. I use those in salads as well. So crush candy. them up, mm. yeah. Oh, goat's cheese Yum. salad with those candied pecans. These are, like I said, these are the edible little flowers. But again, these are not expensive. A couple of years ago, you couldn't get these. Mm -hmm. um, and you can, there's a couple of little shops that I'll, I'll, I'll give everybody the details of that you can get. But don't they just add something incredibly beautiful for so something gorge. not expensive at all? Dehydrated oranges to be sustainable, not waste our food. With the oranges that were left over from the zest, I just cut them into slices. Any little heat that was left over in the oven after cooking, I just popped these in, and then you've got your beautiful slices of dehydrated orange over the top as well. And that is your orange white chocolate carrot cake. <sighs> oh, great. great tip, by the way. Pop these under little sheets of paper or parchment paper when you're decorating your cake. And it just means that your cake board comes out spotless clean at mm. the end. Shall Beyond. we eat? I think, Please. Please. I think we shall. I think we shall. waited long we enough. Um, okay. That is all we have time for tonight. A big thank you to all of our guests and to Ashing for tonight's stunning cake.